I created the resource as part of the module content which looks at um, the legal aspects of midwifery um, and um, normally speaking when you teach the law to a group of student midwives it becomes quite a, a dry subject shall we say where the students um, struggle to engage with the content so I wanted to create a resource where the students would actually have to engage with the content and where, which made the law more realistic. following a placental abruption, the underlying cause of which is currently undetermined. I went back into the room about 11.35pm and I found Annie had collapsed and, and then I shouted for help. Um, even though she was obviously contracting, there was nothing to suggest that I needed to do, to do anything more with her at that point. Shortly before 23.30, I reviewed one of the other women who was undergoing induction of labour, and it was after that, around 23.35, that I was called to attend the emergency in Annie's room. We found her collapsed, and we immediately had to transfer her to theatre. We created the coroner's court resource on the basis of having um, attended a, um, a conference where... Um, some of the delegates were talking about the importance of creating resources where students became engaged in, um, in legal activities. Um, so my colleague and I um, sat down together and thought about a case and tried to um, think of some details around the case and, um, and then it developed from there really. Once we looked at the case we decided that we would put that within the context of um, uh, a legal scenario uh, and from that point we decided that we would have actors and worked with the helm team to, um, to script the whole resource. What I'd like now to do is to consider your conclusions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I changed my mind a few times. My, my, my initial thought was natural causes, and then I changed my mind to bad care, um, and then I changed my mind back again to natural and if causes. She's, if you come out and said, oh, I or I'm unresponsive, she doesn't look right, blah, blah, blah. I thought it was natural causes, and I stayed quite strong to my decision. Um, as a group it was quite difficult because we had a couple of people that thought otherwise but then if we'd have all thought the same thing initially it wouldn't have been as fun and as productive. I was one of the people that I didn't reach a verdict overall and like I said I think that's because I was being very critical of well why, why didn't this happen and why did that happen and why was she on this and like why didn't people why didn't people help but Overall, I can see why the verdict was reached. Uh, the majority have decided that it was due to natural causes. Thank you. I would like to instruct the Parliament Court Clerk to record a verdict by jury of natural causes in the case of the death of the Zones. Thank you um, very much for your attention to the details of this discussing case. I'm sure you agree. Um, and I think you have reached a well-considered conclusion. Thank you very much. Do you stand, please? Once the audience you may now is tired, it's good. I was really, really um, encouraged to see how the students engaged in the debate and also were able to come to a clear decision and to give a rationale for that decision. 